Jim, a, a fine win at Wrexham and an important win as well. What was the reaction in the dressing room? Yeah, everyone's really happy. Uh, same reaction as Maystone. And, and coming back from what happened last week, it was really, it was really good to get back to winning ways. So everyone's chuffed a bit. How important was it after that disappointment of the, the 95th minute to come here and not just get the result, but to really put in a, a strong 90-minute performance? Uh, it was disappointing, um, but we knew how important this game was because it's not easy to come here. Um, and yeah, we've, we've, we've done well again, apart from the first half, but second half we've absolutely dominated the game, really. Uh, that's it. Maybe it wasn't the perfect 90-minute performance, but the team got stronger. Yeah, I think... Um, uh, everyone did their jobs that we were asked to do second half, and as we said before, if we do if we do what the gaffer and Roby tell us as the game plan for 90 minutes, then there's no one really in the league that we we don't think we can beat. Um, but again, it's 45 minutes, like it was against Barrow. Um, luckily today we haven't conceded in the first half, but we've got to make that a bit longer, I think. And the gaffer has suggested that maybe he can't repeat for a family audience what was said at half time, but if you can try and explain it in in um, in family terms, what, what was the message? I, I just think uh, we, that was nowhere near what we were good enough to do. Um, I think they, they caused us a few problems with uh, crosses and things like that, but we knew that we weren't really at it. Um, I think that was the most disappointing thing for the gaffer. It's a minimum we need to compete, and I don't think we did as much as we could in the first half. <clears throat> the, you, you talk about implementing the game plan, the trust that you've got in the coaching staff, yeah. and it is yeah. that, that combination of the expertise that they bring and then the quality in the team that, yeah. that dovetails into the, the performance. The, the squad have got that faith in the management that whatever they say is the correct way to go about things. Well, I think if you go back to the start of the season, we've had however many new players come together. Um, so we've had enough time now to, to trust in the gaffer and Rowey, but like I said, we're doing it at the moment for 45 minutes, where against Barrow, I think we've dominated the first half, and then today we've dominated the second half, but like I said, we need to, that's at us, that's not the gaffer and Rowey, because they've done it, they've set it all out there, and when we listen to them, you can see what happens on the pitch. And so between us as a team now, as players, we've got to we've got to do that for 90 minutes and trust them more. And in the end, that 4-2-3-1 formation worked well. It helped the team grow stronger. And in that midfield, there's a really good combination of you, Jake Gallagher, and Kundai Benyu. Yeah. There's pretty much everything you could ask for in that midfield with you with those three players. Yeah, I, uh, we all know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Um, I thought Benny and Jake were brilliant today. Um, Benny doing his little bits as he does, that little bit of flair, Jake giving 100% box to box, up and down. And then I was just trying to keep the play ticking over, so it's a good balance in there. Um, yeah, and we're, we're, we're all three of us are happy to play with each other, we're all good mates, so it's good. And you're happy personally with, with your form, you excellent at Maystone, you've made a couple of good impacts yeah. from the bench and, and now you've been excellent this afternoon, you're happy with yeah, how you're playing at the moment? I've, um, I've, Sort of got a bit of. I've had like a few months behind me, whereas before at the start of the season it was broke up by an injury, red cards, things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I trust the gaffer here and I trust Rowie, so if I have to come out of the team one week and then go back in, I'll do a job, do it as best as I can. And now, eight games unbeaten. There's there's always optimism, there's always a good spirit in the dressing room, but it, does it feel like that momentum is building at what could be a crucial time? Yeah, it's, it's definitely definitely building, um, but at the same time we, we can't get carried away and we, we can't afford another November and we need to, we need to keep kicking on. Um, Wrexham's done, we need to go and concentrate for the next game now and win, win again. Thank you very much Jim, Cheers. congratulations. Thank you.